Hey guys, welcome to Art with Miss Olson. Today for Super Art and Exercise and Game Day, we are going to do an art activity together. And you will need to grab a few things so that you can do this activity. You will need a pencil or something to write with. You will need some paper. You will also need scissors. Make sure that you have scissors that are kid-friendly or safe. When you're using the scissors, always hold them like this so you don't poke anyone. You will need some tape, or glue is fine too. And then you will need lots and lots of different colored markers. So you can make, or crayons, whatever you have in your house, you can make your art beautiful. And the last thing that you need are sticks. If you have, you only need one or two, but you can also use something else. You can use paper or other things for the sticks as well if you don't have sticks in your house. So I am going to go get my all of my stuff ready and if you need to go grab your things, pause the video here, go grab them now, and we'll all be right back. Okay, see you in a minute. Hi guys, I'm back. I hope you have all your stuff ready. I do. We're going to get started. Today we're going to be making some really fun fish puppets and I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing that we need to do for our fish puppet is we need to trace our hand. So we're going to take our piece of paper and we're going to put our hand down and don't spread your fingers out too wide. You can just spread them out a little bit like this. And we are going to trace we're, we don't need to spread them out at all, actually. We're just gonna do it like this, and we're gonna trace around our hand. So we're gonna take our pencil or our pen, whatever you have in your house, and you're gonna try really hard not to move your hand and go all the way around it. Make sure you're pressing hard so that you get a good line, and all the way down. So by the end, you should have your hand traced, and anything that you didn't trace, just connect them like I did there. So you have a little hand like this. Now, I'm gonna give you a minute. Go ahead, trace your hand. Okay, you should almost be done. I'll give you two more seconds. Finish up tracing. Great. Now that you are done tracing, if you're not, just pause the video and you can finish up. We are going to cut out our hand along the line that we just created. So remember, we're gonna take our scissors, our thumb goes in the little hole, and our other fingers go in the big hole. When we cut, the scissors are, the, are, are not moving, only the paper moves. So we're going to start by cutting on the line, nice and slow, the best we can. And remember, we're gonna turn our paper. We're never turning our scissors. Turning our paper, turning our paper, turning our paper, just like this. And we're gonna cut all the way around on the line we made. I'm gonna pause my cutting right now, and I want you to get started cutting. Grab your scissors very carefully. Put your thumb in the little hole and your fingers in the other hole and very carefully along the, the pencil line or the marker line you made, I want you to cut out your hand the best you can. Nice and easy. Okay, you get started. I'm gonna finish cutting and you cut with me. Go. Remember, nice and slow. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just trying our best but the slower the better. And we're gonna cut all the way around. I am gonna give you a few more minutes to finish, a few more seconds to finish cutting up your, your hand. Finish up right now, keep going.
Okay, if you're not finished cutting it, just pause the video here and then you can finish up. So we are gonna make our fish today. And we have two sides. We have the side with our fingers and our thumb that goes like this. And we have the side that's like the bottom of our palm here, the bottom of our hand here. This is the side I wanna work on first. This is where I'm going to put my eye. I want my fish to be able to see, so I'm gonna draw an eye. And in order to draw an eye, you can use any color you want. I'm gonna use black. But what I suggest before we even do that is we start with pencil. And do you know why I like to start with pencil first? Is so that if I make a mistake, I can just erase it. Once I use my marker, I can't erase it. So I'm gonna start with that and I'm gonna start by making a circle. And once I make my circle, I can have my eye like this and I can shade in my eye so the fish looks like that. Or if I don't like that way, I can have my fish looking up and I can shade it in like that. Or I can have my fish looking to the side and I can shade it in like that. Or I can just put a circle in the middle and I can shade it in like that. I want you to draw your circle with your pencil and then I want you to pick how you want your fish to look, which way any of the ways I showed you. I'm gonna make mine, you draw your eye now. I'll give you a minute to do it, go. Okay, if you haven't finished it, just pause the video. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna trace it with our marker, any color you like. I felt like doing a dark kind of black color, so I'm choosing that, but you can do any color you like. And I am just going to trace over those lines just like that. So now I have my eye. Go ahead and do yours right now. Okay, now that you have your eye traced, the next part is the most fun part. We get to use all the different colors that we have and we get to decorate our fish. You can decorate it however you want. Polka dots, stripes, one color, squiggly lines, you decide. For the next few minutes, we're just gonna get to spend some time decorating our fish. You can copy my design if you want or you can make your own design. Today, I think I'm going to make a rainbow fish. So I'm gonna do a brightly colored design on my fish. Okay, I'm gonna take my red, I think I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna start coloring. You can color your fish however you want. Take your time, do any kind of design or color that you like. I love all colors. This is why I'm doing the rainbow look. I have, now I'm gonna use some orange. I'm gonna color in this part. And then I'll use some yellow. You can make yours any way you want. This is just what I like. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You just make it as beautiful as you like, but be creative. However you make your fish will look wonderful. And then the next part, 
I'm going to use blue. And I'm going to make that thin blue too. You can take your time, do something that you like. Choose the colors you like or the design you like. It doesn't have to look like mine. You can make yours look however you want. It'll be exciting to see all the different kind of fish you guys make. So now, finishing up its fin here. And then I'm gonna do my last color here. My purple. Okay, I finished decorating my fish. If you're not done, just go ahead and pause the video and finish up. Those of you that are done with me, I'm gonna move my fish off to the side and I'm gonna take my paper that I had before and I'm gonna pick any color that I want. You can decide the color that you want, but we are now gonna make the mouth for our fish. And in order to make this mouth, we are gonna make a little heart. So I'm gonna take my marker here and I'm just gonna draw the best I can a little heart. It doesn't need to be too big and I'm gonna color mine in because I want mine pink. Color yours in the color you like. And I'm just using the same paper so I can save. Oop, you couldn't see that, could you? There you go. So I could save my paper. You go ahead, draw your little heart and color it in. Go. Okay, if you're not finished, just pause the video. But here is our little heart, and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get our scissors again, and we're gonna cut it out the best we can, nice and slow. Remember, your finger goes in the little hole, your thumbs, and your other fingers go in the big hole. We always keep our scissors just cutting, and our paper's the one that has to move. Grab your scissors, and you can cut with me. Go ahead, get started cutting. Nice and slow cutting, taking your time. Nice and slow, the best you can. It might not turn out perfect, but it is, you do the best that you can. Go ahead, finish up your cutting. Give you about a couple more seconds and then I'm gonna move on. Okay, now that you have your heart cut, you either need glue or you can use tape. I didn't have glue at my house, so I'm gonna use a little bit of tape. And I'm gonna take some of my tape off, just like this, I only need like a little piece. And what you need to do is glue the lips on your fish, or tape them. So I'm gonna put a little tape on the back and tape it down just like that. You can also glue it, and then your fish has little lips. Now, for the last part of our fish. Go ahead and glue or tape your lips onto your fish and then we'll go to our last part. I'll give you a couple seconds now, go. Okay, now that you have your lips taped, the last thing that you need is a stick. And if you don't have a stick, you could use paper, you could use something else in your house that's like hard like this. And what we're going to do is we're gonna make a little part for our puppet so we can hold our fish. So I'm gonna turn my fish over and I'm gonna take the stick and I'm gonna put it on the back. Now you can use tape for this or you can use glue for this if you have glue in your house. Either one will work. And you're gonna take some of the tape or your glue and you're just going to either put glue on the stick and glue it to the back or tape it to the back of your, your fish. Go ahead and do that right now, go.
Okay, now that you have that, you should have your little fish puppet. I hope you enjoyed making your fish puppet today and you can have fun with it in your house. Thank you for joining me for a super art day. See you tomorrow. Bye.